Alexis with Financial Phoenix. Thanks for checking out our latest collab video, which is all about coupon organization and how to keep yourself organized. Uh, we're going to talk about how long it takes me to clip my coupons, where I get them, what kind of system I use uh, to keep them in order, and spoiler alert, it's not perfect, but uh, I'm always looking to improve. So check out this video and get a bunch of tips. Also, be sure to check out the organization videos from the other couponers who are participating in this challenge as well, um, talking about coupon organization because they are going to have some awesome tips. I'm sure everybody does it a little bit differently, um, but staying organized and keeping your coupons in some kind of order, whatever works for you, is the key to having successful transactions uh, at the grocery store or wherever you happen to be couponing because going in with your stuff all a mess and your math not done and your things not together, it just never works out. So uh, stick around. Also, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button and ding the bell so that you can be uh, updated when we have new videos coming out. We do a collaboration video like this once a month, so check back in for those. They are always really awesome. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the gigantic book of savings. Uh, this is my coupon binder. This is what I keep my coupons in. Um, this is uh, my lifeblood, and my kids just refer to it as the coupon book. They know that it is sacred and that they are to carry it this way and not this way. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that is uh, where I keep my coupons. And we're going to do this the real way. So I'm going to show you. Oh, by the way, you can get this uh, cover for free if you're looking for a cover for your personal coupon binder at our blog. There will be a link in the description box down below. Um, it's always free. It's there. So if you ever need to reprint it or something, it's there for you. This first side, this is what this looks like. Uh, pretty much weekly at the end of the week. Um, so tomorrow when I start the week, this will be nice and clean and uh, ready to go. But this, it gets this way throughout. It also end up, you know, shoving my pens in there. I uh, end up with my extra bucks and my CVS receipts and CRTs get stuffed in there too. So this is not a very efficient way to do things, but it is what typically happens throughout the week. Um, but what I do like to keep here is one copy of each weekly ad uh, and one copy of each insert so that I know uh, where stuff came from. So this is the insert for this week. Uh, we also have this Retail Me Not. So I tend to keep those two or, or if there's a PNG, I keep all three in this front pocket so I can see them. And then I'll keep, you know, like the weekly ads. Here's the inserts from last week right there and I keep those there so I know what coupon came from where. So I'll move those off to the side for a minute. We'll go ahead and clean this out because we're going to reorganize these later. Okay, so then the, the first thing is this little zipper pouch here. Um, in the first section I uh, keep little coupons or things like that I pick up. Sometimes these are hang tag coupons off of specific items. Sometimes they are um, things like the Kroger specific coupons that you get in the mail, um, you know, that Kroger sends you for just being a customer. So I'll, I'll put those there throughout the week. Um, typically the back pouch here has uh, my glittery coupon scissors. Ooh, ah. Um, usually a couple more pairs of scissors that I steal from David and place in here. Uh, also, uh, just some highlighters and some pens. Um, I like to highlight stuff as I go and circle stuff, so I try to keep a couple products in there for that. So we'll go ahead and add these back in. Okay, so here is where the magic happens. Um, and I don't know if you can see this very well. This is, uh, I keep, you know, a good chunk of paper uh, needs to be refilled right now in my coupon binder. This is how I uh, do my deals or I start just writing down ideas for what's going to be on sale, what's going to be a good deal this week. As you can see, a lot of stuff gets crossed out or circled. Um, there's me working on a digital deal. 
some CVS stuff right there. So that's typically where I start writing things down. Um, I do type things out for my printable deals that you've seen in my uh, coupon videos, but here is, you know, just for my personal use, if I'm going to do something, um, I usually start it here. Okay, before I get into the actual uh, organizing of the coupons, I just wanted to go over quickly how I make my deals week to week. Um, that's one of the things that we were supposed to talk about in this video is, you know, what exactly I look for when I start making my five off of 25 deals for Dollar General. And, uh, you know, this is firsthand knowledge right here because this is something that I teach in my in-person couponing classes all the time. And these are basically the three um, secrets, you know, the, I don't know if I call them secrets, I guess the three ways to uh, the three easiest ways to look at building a transaction for uh, Dollar General. So the first one is to seek out high value coupons. A high value coupon means uh, a coupon that allows you to save more on the item than you're spending. So for example, these Schick disposable razors right here, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that so you guys can see. So the Schick disposable razors are uh, save $3. I don't know what these razors cost. Um, let's just say it's it's $4 or four fifty or something. Uh, if I if they're four dollars and I have a three dollar off coupon, that means I'm only paying a dollar and I saved three. So I'm saving there more than I'm spending. So that's how I know uh, that that's going to be a good item to add to a five off of twenty five transaction because during those transactions, the goal is not just to get cheap stuff. If that were the case, I could just walk down the dollar aisle and just pick up you know twenty five things for a dollar and take that five off of 25 and, and leave paying 20 bucks. But that's not really gonna get us where we wanna be. We want to pick up items that have a lot of savings, but also add a lot to our total so that uh, you know we're lowering that total as far as possible. It's not just about the price of the item, and that's a really important thing to keep in mind when you're shopping at Dollar General specifically. It's not just about the price of the item. It's about what that price and what that savings does for your overall order. So it's much more beneficial for me to pick up an item that's $4 and has $3 off than it is to pick up an item for $1. So that's the first tip is to seek out high value coupons. The second tip is to seek out buy one get one freeze for the same reason now i don't think we have any really good uh buy one get one freeze this week um let me look up here i know we have a halloween buy one get one free we've had them on everything from deodorant to pillows to you know whatever this this week we have buy one get one free halloween trick-or-treat item and get one free at your local dollar general location so uh buy one get one free is for the same reason you're paying your the register thinks you're paying the price for two items right so if I, if this is off halloween masks and they're five dollars a piece then that's ten dollars toward our 25 dollar total that we have to hit so that gets us like almost half of the way there but we're only going to pay five of that because we have a buy one, get one free coupon. So the amount of both items is going to go toward your transaction, but only one of those items you're going to be paying for. So that is the second tip is uh, first tip is high value coupons. Second tip is buy one, get one freeze. And the last uh, thing that I look for, uh, you know, in, in terms of putting together a five off 25 deal are free items or just really good sale items um you know for a while for a couple weeks i can't show it to you because i think i used it yesterday but uh for a couple weeks here we've had a two dollar off gain coupon that i was able to use on a two dollars uh 34 count of gain dryer sheets so that made it a free item so again that's two dollars going towards your total and zero dollars coming out of your pocket and that is a big win but it doesn't have to be a coupon. Maybe there's just a really, really good sale. You know, something that's typically uh, $4 is down to 99 cents this week or something. So 
you just got to keep that kind of thing in mind. Uh, those those are the three main ways. And we'll talk about this more on this channel later. I'll do a, a more in-depth video of how I put together my deals. But that gives you a quick overview, at least to start. And then I started with sections. Uh, I started by organizing them by month. So, like, these are the coupons that would expire uh, this month. And then I have a section for um, the following month. That didn't really end up working out, so I really need to take those out because these just don't really do anything anymore. Um, I just keep all my coupons together because I tend to use a lot of them before they expire, so those don't really help a whole lot. But we got these baseball card pages, and these are really how I keep my coupons organized. I do it in alphabetical order, and I have tried several different methods of organizing them from alphabetical to, like I said, uh, by expiration date. I have also put them in here um, by category, so like putting all the cleaning stuff together, putting all the toothpaste and stuff together, but that didn't work out very well because some items, um, you know, like for example, we wouldn't get cat food very often or pet supplies very often. So it felt weird having a whole section just for pet food. Um, when we didn't get those type of coupons very often. And then some uh, things like shampoo and conditioner, you know, do those go in beauty or do those go in personal care? Um, you know, they kind of fit more than one category. So that was kind of confusing. So David just recommended the um, alphabetical method. And so far that has worked because I can just easily flip to what it is that I'm looking for. Um, it does take a little bit longer and I haven't really found a better system for, for saving time on that yet, but hopefully somebody can maybe give me a suggestion. But this is how we keep our coupons organized. So we just start with A and we just work our way back. And these are our coupons. Now you can see um, big holes. <laughs> see this one only has two for this page. Um, the reason for that is I've already gone through this uh, Sunday, it's Sunday night right now, and I have culled out the um, coupons uh, that have expired already for this week's. Um, my goal now is to cut our new coupons and fill those gaps in. Okay, so one of the first things that I do um, is I just start by looking at the weekly ad. I like to open it up. Let's see if I can do it one-handed here. And I start by just putting everything into sections. Uh, and some couponers will hate me for this. I don't keep every section. I only keep stuff that I think I'm going to use, um, either for YouTube, for you guys, or uh, just because I, I'll use it personally. But I don't keep stuff like baby stuff. Like, we don't have babies anymore. We don't have diapers. So I don't keep diaper coupons. So, um... Yeah, we just don't. Some couponers, you know, keep every single coupon just in case, but that's just not me. I like to fold out the uh, two-page inserts and lay them like that. Okay, so this is just the start. I have more over here, as you can see, of the uh, Family Dollar, the uh, Retail Me Not ad this week. But uh, I just like to do them in piles of, like, three or four just so I can keep them thin enough um, because I don't want to mess up my coupon sword. So let me get that out and show you. This is what the boys call my uh, coupon sword. This is what I use for clipping my coupons. So typically I'll start out with the single pages because those are a little bit easier. And I just take them like this, you know, I and there is no more satisfying sound. Let me try and line this up so that you can see it on camera. Okay. So there is no more satisfying sound than shwing. And then I have these, which I just feed through like this. That is how we get our coupons. Clean cut, nice, ready to go. So once I have a few piles of coupons, I'll start organizing them. Um, so I'll start just like A, B, C, D, um, you know, and I'll get them kind of in an alphabetical order like that as I go along, uh, which helps me keep everything straight here on the table. And then uh, once I've got, you know, all of my ads cut and clipped 
and I've got my coupons organized into alphabetical order, that's when we start putting them back in the coupon binder. Usually it's a little more organized than this, but I did have my sons help me <laughs> uh, bring these up a stairs from downstairs, so they're kind of all over the place. But there is, uh, yeah, there's a lot here this week. This is a lot. So this is what they look like after being cut, and we're going to go ahead and organize them alphabetically so that we can put them into our binder. Okay, so this is the finished alphabetized product, and this took me like 10-15 minutes. I just organized them into little groups, uh, you know, starting A all the way to uh, Y this week. Um, and I'm going to now go through, and this is the most time-consuming part, is putting them inside the binder uh, and, you know, adjusting them with the coupons that are already in there. And this typically takes me a good hour, hour and a half. So this is the finished product. Everything has been alphabetized. Um, I've got everything. Some of these, you know, weird shaped coupons you have to kind of fold over several times in order to get them to fit in the baseball card binders. But overall, um, I'm happy with it this week. It's nice and ready to go. I'll be starting on my deals here shortly in the gigantic book of savings. So where do I get my coupons? Uh, I actually have what I call a coupon fairy. Um, so when I first started couponing, I put a message on our local uh, Facebook or local intranet type group. And I just said, hey, does anybody get the paper who would be willing to give me their inserts, uh, you know, in exchange for something off the stockpile once a week or something like that? Does anyone have any extras that they don't use? Because, uh, you know, I, I'm on a budget and I'm really trying and a couple of people reached out and they were super nice and super helpful um, and I got a couple that way but then I met somebody uh, who responded to that ad and she has been such a blessing to our family I call her my coupon fairy so um, the, basically what happens is that Saturday evenings which it is right now I put something in the mailbox for her a couple things sometimes I ask her what she needs sometimes I just give her whatever um, the deals happen to be that week uh, you know I'll put a couple things in the mailbox for her and then, like magic, like fairy magic, uh, Sunday morning when I wake up, there uh, or thereabouts, there is uh, a roll, sometimes this fat, sometimes this fat, sometimes a whole bundle of newspapers left over because she works for the local newspaper, so she drops them off at my house. So it's the most amazing relationship I have uh, for couponing that, you know, helps me out tremendously. I can't believe I've been this lucky. I don't know what I will do if we ever move away or if she ever moves away. But, um, you know, until then, yeah, we uh, we for sure are really blessed with her. So thank you, Coupon Fairy, if you are watching. Um, but, yeah, so that's basically how I get my coupons, um, my paper coupons anyway. Uh, I, I do that pretty much once a week. Um, and that's how we are able to do giveaways as well. So you guys should be thankful to her for that too. Uh, you know, when we do our free giveaways of coupon inserts, it's all thanks to Coupon Fairy. So let's go put a couple things in the mailbox and see what happens, see what we can, what kind of magic we can drum up here.
Okay, so I'm up. Not exactly bright and early Sunday morning, but uh, early-ish. And we are going to go check the mailbox and just see if overnight any little fairies sprinkled coupons in there for us. So let's go. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? Look at this beauty. Ta da! I believe we're just getting a smart source this week, so this should just be all smart source. Awesome! So, thanks for sticking around, guys, and checking out all of my organizational tips. Make sure you check out the videos of the other members of the squad. They are going to have some really awesome tips as well, I'm sure. I'm sure I can learn something from a few of them. I, I know that my system needs a little bit of work. Um, but definitely check theirs out. There'll be links in the description box below to all of them. Um, what else? Uh, if you have, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so because we have money saving tips, couponing, resale, all of that happening all the time. Um, and yeah, just save money, make money and dream big guys. I'll catch you later. Shut up and sit down.